Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Boondba here and uh, ready for another vlog. This time we're going to talk movies uh, that have not, have and have not come out yet. Uh, there's a lot of movies in 2019 that I'm looking forward to and a lot of uh, trailers have been released recently. And if you know me, I like to talk movies. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first uh, movies that I want to talk about are the movies I haven't seen yet, uh, and there's a couple of them. Uh, looking at my list, I did not get to see uh, Bad Times at El Royale. I didn't really read much about it, but it, it looked good, so the jury's out on that. Um, I didn't get to see Venom. I saw a lot of people were kind of yes, and a lot of some people were like, eh. Uh, so that's something I have yet to see. Those are probably going to be out in uh, DVD before I know it. So I'll probably get to the library for those. And then it's important to say that it's uh, circa the end of November 2018 when this video is being released. So some of these movies, by the time you watch this, I may have seen those movies or uh, I may get to seeing other things. But for the time being... There's like four movies in the theaters right now that I want to see. Um, Fantastic Beast 2. I love the first one. I thought it, you know, I'm not deep into Harry Potter lore necessarily. Um, I, I read s like more than 50% of the books. I got to like the middle of the fifth one and then I was just like, ah, I don't think so. <laughs> but um, I liked the, the new Fantastic Beasts a couple of years ago and I think the new one looks good. They've got a new story arc happening and I want to know what it is. Like, it intrigued me enough to keep watching. Uh, the Gr the new Grinch, I know everyone's been saying, oh, they don't need another Grinch movie. The Jim Carrey one was fine. I'm just interested to see what they do with it. I, I like uh, Boris Karloff's Grinch uh, myself, but I always like to see new kind of depictions of these classic characters that, that people have made. Um, Ralph Breaks the Internet, let me tell you about this movie. Haven't seen it yet, but I am so stoked and psyched to because when I saw the first one, I actually went with my wife and some friends and I laughed like a little kid through the whole movie because all the puns and all of the wordplay that they put in there, like for the adults, I got. And I thought it was the funniest thing ever. So I really hope that they do that with the second one. I'm really, really excited. And then Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, something I've been looking forward to for a couple of months. Mrs. Boom is like really into Queen and I've become more into Queen as I've been with her. So we're really excited to watch that movie and something that uh, really looks good. So now let's get on to 2019. Um, I'm looking at the 65 most anticipated movies of 2019 uh, from Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm going to go through the list here and when something jumps out at me, I'm going to talk about it. The first one is Glass, uh, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. If you have not seen Unbreakable or the movie Split, you're going to want to watch those before you watch this movie. I'm so, super excited for it because... Unbreakable was one of those movies Mrs. Boom and I were just like looking for a movie to watch and we decided, you know, I think I've heard enough about this movie. We watched it, we loved it, and that was even after we had watched Split. So those movies all actually tie in together if you didn't know that. And so Glass is, as far as I know, is going to be like the, the pinnacle or the peak the climax of kind of those uh, all going in the same direction. So I'm excited about Glass. It's got uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis, James McAvoy. I'm super stoked for it. So you should, I, I highly recommend all those movies. Uh, getting down to the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Uh, that I'm really excited about because the Lego Movie is probably on one of my top 10 lists somewhere. I just love it. Like, it's just... It's got the same thing that kind of Wreck-It Ralph had, where they just they just put enough in there that it's funny on its own. Like, kids may not get it. It's not dirty or anything. It's just funny. Like, it's just funny. So if you have the humor to appreciate that, it's just hilarious. So I'm really excited for the Lego movie. I thought they set the first one up for a sequel perfectly, and it's taken them a good amount of time to get, you know, it's been a couple of years. So I'm super excited about that. Let's see, getting down here to, uh, I think this is March now, we'll be at uh, Captain Marvel, which if you're not caught up with all of the MCU 
the Marvel Cinematic Universe, then you should probably get catch catched up? Caught up? Caught. You should get caught up. Uh, that's something that I really want to do is go through, maybe not the whole Cinematic Universe, but if I could go through, like, certain movies that really move the plot along to refresh my memory before Captain Marvel, and we're getting to the other Avengers movie down the list here, um, those are something that I really want to watch again i just don't you know those movies are anywhere from two to three hours i don't think any of them peak at three hours but two to two and a half hours so i don't know i think that'd be something fun to do with the channel though if we picked certain nights uh before before those movies came out and got all you know caught up together it'd be fun to watch and talk in discord and stuff but captain marvel looks really cool i watched the trailer I don't, I, I'm going in kind of blind on that one. I'm sure things will get ramped up as we get closer to March, but that's exciting. Exciting for me. Uh, also in March is Dumbo. Mrs. Boomdaba looks, I don't think she wants to watch it. I, so there's a lot of Disney, what they're calling live action movies, which are really CGI action movies uh, coming out in 2019. I didn't see the the Jungle Book. I heard that was really good, but I never got to see it. So I'll be interested to kind of see how Dumbo fares, and that'll give us a good look into the other ones that are coming out uh, that we're going to talk about uh, here in a little bit. Let's see. Uh, looks like there's a new Hellboy movie, a new Hellboy reboot coming out in 2019 around April. I'm not going to talk too much about this, but I had a friend who like opened me up to those movies. They were they were pretty good. Like I think they're like you have to want to watch them, but that's that's pretty cool. I might take a look at that. Uh, then in May we have the Untitled Avengers movie, which is going to go right off of uh, Infinity War. I don't have a lot to say about this, except I really enjoyed Infinity War a whole lot, and I'm really looking forward to how they kind of, you know, I've been waiting years watching the Marvel movies to just see how it's all going to come together, and I'm just really excited to, to see kind of what, what they've been working on with this. And then Detective Pikachu also comes out in May. Okay, so I watched the Detective Pikachu uh thing the trailer and i don't know how to feel because it's a detective pikachu which i know nothing about but it's like basically it's a pokemon movie and if you're like me and you're from the 90s you've been waiting for a pokemon movie since the 90s and not an, like an anime one like a real one you've been waiting for pokemon to be invented so i'll definitely be checking that out um, unless it just gets terrible reviews. Um, Mrs. Boomdabob was saying that because Ryan Reynolds is voicing Pikachu, all she can think about is Deadpool. I think, I, I think I'll be able to look past that just so that I can uh, watch the movie. Because it looks, it looks interesting to me. I'll give it a, I'll give it a, good, uh, good, a good look anyways, you know. Uh, and then, oh man, John Wick Chapter 3... If you've been following my saga of John Wick, I didn't know anything about it. Like, in the past two months, I've gone from not knowing anything about John Wick to watching both within a week to, like, loving the character and wanting more lore, and I, I love it. I love it. It's a great set of movies. If you can watch John... If you can get... If you're okay with violence, John Wick and John Wick 2 are, are fantastic. Like, you, you should just sit down, rent them both, get some popcorn and pizza, and just watch them, because they're so good. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the third one and I don't have to wait that long because I just got caught up and then there's uh, so the, the next movie is Aladdin um, which has Will Smith and then some other people who I'm not familiar with um, that comes out in May of 2019 so Disney's got Dumbo they've got Aladdin uh, The Lion King I think we're, we're getting to later in the list um It'll be really interesting to see how these go. Aladdin, I'm really looking forward to because I love the original. It came out like when I was a kid, and I got to watch it. It was one of those I probably watched over and over again, and I just liked it. Um, then we jump into June. We have Secret Life of Pets 2. I liked the first one, but it didn't go exactly in the way I thought it was going to go. So 
If I catch the second one, no idea. Uh, apparently Patton Oswalt is replacing Louis C.K. That's not a deal breaker for me, but it just depends, I guess, where they're going to go with the, uh, with, the, with the plot line and stuff like that. And then, okay, so this one threw me for a loop. I saw the trailer for this. It's Dark Phoenix, which is, which is going to be an X-Men movie um, coming out in June of 2019. And I'm sorry, but I thought that... I thought that the X-Men movies were like done with Apocalypse. I thought they got to a point they're like, yeah, we're not gonna do any more of these. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Sounds, sounds like a plan to me. Um, it says uh, that the X-Men franchise hit a, something of a speed bump in uh, Apocalypse, but looks to rebound with one of the more popular stories. Uh, if you are, have watched X-Men 1, 2, and 3 from like the 2000s, X-Men 3, in my opinion, does not exist because, and I'm not a huge comic boy fan, comic book boy, comic book boy fan, fan boy. I don't really read comics, but I could tell you that that movie, they took that Dark Phoenix uh, storyline and they just like botched it all over the place. It was not good. And that movie just, I didn't like it. So... I really like what they did when they um, did the, the whole timeline thing with X-Men, kind of like what they did in Star Trek, just a different way. I really like what they did, um, and so I'm going to probably check this out. I wasn't a crazy about Apocalypse. I mean, it was a right. It was a right, but uh, Dark Phoenix looks good. We'll just have to see. Just because I like, I like James McAvoy, I like Michael Fassbender. Jennifer Lawrence has been good, doing a good job, so like I'll probably check it out. Just depends. It'll be a good a good summer movie probably. Uh, there's a Men in Black spinoff coming with Liam Neeson and Chris Hemsworth. Sign me up, and also Tessa Thompson. Sign me up. I love the the Men in Black movies and. The third one I need to watch again, though, because, like, I think a lot of stuff happened that I, like, didn't internalize and process, and I just need to look over it again. Uh, all right, let's keep going. What are we in here? We're in June. So, June, we're looking at Toy Story 4. Yes, <laughs> I love the Toy Story movies. I grew up with them. Two is okay. One and three are great. Four is probably going to be fantastic. Um... They had only have, have have had a teaser come out for that. No real trailer yet. Uh, then we have Jump to July. Apparently Spider-Man Far From Home. Which is interesting because... At least right now in real life, Peter Parker's character is in Limbo. And so it'll be interesting to see what they do with that. It'll be interesting to see how that... I mean, so... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Um, and then July of 19 uh, is Lion King. Which I'll definitely be checking out just because I like the original Lion King. This may be... You know, if I don't watch any of those other Disney movies, I'll probably check this one out. Just because I think it'll be really cool. I do. Um, Alright, we jump to... September we have uh, it chapter two and I didn't watch it chapter one but um, I've been I'm waiting for it chapter two to come out so that I can just watch them together I'm just I'm just gonna watch them both together because I don't want to wait <laughs> so I'm just gonna watch them at the same time uh, other things that are interesting to me October we get Zombieland 2 and if I had five more minutes, I'd tell you all about how I feel about Zombieland 1. I think it's a classic. I really like it. Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg, and Abigail Breslin do a fantastic job. It will be very interesting to see how they work with that ten years later. Uh, I, don't even, I don't know if the movie's going to be set ten years later. It'd be kind of cool if they did something like that. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to that. That that popped up and I was like, yes. Uh, that's like the high schooler in me though that watched that movie for the first time. Um, let's see. We've got Joker. 
That's uh, Joaquin Phoenix is going to portray the Joker. That That's coming out in October. So we're getting no, near the end of next year. So some of these things may change, get you know delayed. So I don't want to spend too much time on that. But that looks good. That looks cool. I, I don't do a lot with uh, the DC universe, but... Uh, another portrayal of the Joker will probably be be good to me. I did not watch uh, Suicide Squad, not for any reason, but I just didn't watch it. So another iteration of the Joker, uh, besides Heath Ledger, who will probably always be the Joker to me, uh, is is interesting. I'm looking forward to it. We hit November, uh, Kingsman three, which peaks my radar but i haven't seen kingsman one and two so maybe i'll do the same thing that i did with uh john wick and maybe i'll watch both of them love them and then be like okay third one get here i don't know we'll see there's a sonic the hedgehog movie that's slated for november next year this is i saw it on someone's twitter feed i'll be interested to see how that's going to end up you know if this the direction they take with that if they take like a animated kind of jump or if they go real cgi with it uh it'll just be in you know if because if you take a classic character like that like the only other thing i can think of is alvin and the chipmunks they took alvin and the chipmunks and they cgi'd them they put them with a real person kind of like garfield i could see them doing that with sonic they might not but it's always tricky when you get a video game character that you're going to make a movie for right especially when he has these uh things that they they tried doing that um this is kind of a different ballpark but still inside the uh, they did that with assassin's creed the assassin's creed movie was okay uh but they you know they take a really lovable character in a franchise people really know and it's like well how do you interpret that for film and it gets really really difficult um and then frozen 2 is gonna kind of round out this list here uh before we jump into december Frozen 2, okay. <laughs> Probably will still be a hit, and everyone will go to see it. Uh, December, we're looking at... The the, bi the biggest thing that I'm worried about in December 2019 is going to be J.J. Abrams and Star Wars Episode Nine, because even though there's supposed to be more Star Wars movies down the line, I want to see how this whole thing caps off. I think J.J. Abrams really had a good thing going with 7, and I was kind of sad that he didn't do 8, and so him taking back over for 9 makes me really happy, and I really want to see how his mind, you know, all the storylines and what he has planned, um, just because I love Star Wars. I love it so much. <laughs> I just want to, I just, you know, being someone that grew up with 4, 5, 6 when they re-released in uh, the theaters, and then... You know, going to the theaters to watch one, two, and three, have your opinions on them, but, and then, you know, getting to be in this era of life with seven, eight, and nine, I, I'm a Star Wars, I, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, I am a Star Wars fanboy, so I will be making it to that hopefully on the day of release because I'm really excited for that. Um, and that kind of rounds out my list. Uh, I'm just kind of looking at movies that pop out to me. There are always going to be things that pop up and I'm like, oh man, that looks really cool. Um, but for the most part, that's kind of my list. So I'll see if I can, I need to write that list down <laughs> so that I can keep my uh, eyes on it. But when it comes to movies, I'll always, I'll probably always go see a movie, even if I get in the mindset that probably not going to be great story-wise but it may just be a good action film i need to go see i'm probably always down for a movie so thank you guys for watching uh this list may change as we get closer to 2019 i may do an updated list but those are the movies on my uh watch and my radar so i hope you've enjoyed this video and uh we'll talk to you soon keep booming